I want to just share three things that I've been doing the past few months that have helped me to grow in this way and that might also help you. So welcome back everybody, I'm Chris McQueen. I'm here to share my journey on YouTube but also to bring to you the Word of God. I want to break it down in a meaningful and understandable way. So today I want to talk about my journey, how it's been going on YouTube. I have recently reached my 101st subscribers. Now I know this is a channel that's based on Bible stuff and I will still talk about my topic and my niche that if you are in the same niche and you want to get started, you can also join along and find valuable aspects that can help you grow slowly. So the first thing here is that I've started to do shorts. Now, I've been doing YouTube since June 2023 and there have been a lot of things that I've tried. I've tried long form video and it's just taking a while to gain traction. There have been a few that have had six, seven, maybe 800 views, but never above a thousand. And often is often, it is a lot below a hundred. And I just have that feeling that I wasn't getting noticed. People weren't realizing that my channel is out there, that I wanted to share my, my topic with young people, with young Christians out there to also make them realize and, and look at the Bible as the source of wisdom and understanding. Now what the shorts are, they are like short videos if you haven't seen them, similar to Instagram reels. You swipe along and you get random shorts from random people. And some of them have done really well. Like I've had uh, one that's been above 8,000 views. The last few have been around a thousand. Then the last one last week was around four and a half thousand. And that really leads me onto the second point, which is reaction based videos. So I was talking to a friend online who's also done this, this course called the PTYA, Part-Time YouTuber Academy, and he just suggested to try and maybe find something that resonates with others, and that often is seeing a famous figure in Christianity or whatever niche you are in, and then reacting to their content. Now, I've always put reaction content aside and seen it as not relevant and important, but in this specific case, I really wanted to give it a try because there are some Christians out there that have really good points that I want to encourage and, and people to see, but there's also points and aspects of these famous Christians where you're like, ah, maybe that's not quite right. In a few seconds to challenge the viewer and say, is this the truth? Is this what the Bible teaches? This has been helpful to me in choosing reaction videos and they have garnered a lot of views, which is also quite helpful. And really the third point that I've tried is to tailor my thumbnails and my titles and make them unique <laughs> in what their message is. So what I used to do is just take a random thumbnail, spend 10 minutes on Canva and then just chuck on the next best title. Now when I take a thumbnail, I want to make it different from the title. So the title should grab someone scrolling through, but maybe they see a thumbnail as a and then the face of me, that's often the case, will stick out or a text in the background will stick out. And I've spent a lot of time on Photoshop and sometimes also kind of mostly Photoshop, just trying to hone that craft of making a good thumbnail, trying to get good thumbnails that fit with good titles and not just using the next best, option on ChatGPT, for example, but really thinking from a viewer's perspective, would I click on this? Would I look at this thumbnail? Would I be intrigued by the colors? Is this thumbnail a, an image that is, wow, like I need to know what happens and it has an open-ended question that needs to be answered. And I think as general rule of thumb, Christians and creatives in the space of the Bible are often frowned upon, laughed at, and ridiculed. But there is a space, and I believe it is growing day by day. And I just want to be open and honest with you and say that, yes, it has been tough. I think January was my toughest month where I was like, wow, where is this going? I, I've been on here for eight months and still only a few views, but the whole change and the focus on trying shorts that get pushed to more people that also get negative comments, a lot of them now, more, a lot more than I've had before, but also have really encouraging aspects to it. And just knowing that more people get to 
see the message of the Bible and, and then get to experience what that means for them and maybe they click a related video and then they land on one of my videos is quite powerful. So if you want to watch another video and you want to learn more about salvation and if you can lose it or if you are safe, then you can click here. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.